What's up everyone, this is Double O Face coming at you with another bit of gameplay from Black Ops. Uh, this is a little bit of domination on Havana uh, with the L96A1 doing some work with the sniper rifle. You'd be like, man, what are you doing? I was uh, working on some quick scoping, you know, just kind of messing around, having some fun. And I got a pretty good game, and at the end of it, I got a really good compliment. This guy's like, hey, you, you mother effer, using an aimbot. And I'm like, whoa. He thinks I'm using an A-Bot? Man, I must have been owning some noobs if that's the case. <laughs> I mean, you get people saying that you've got an aimbot, bot you, you know you're doing pretty good with your aim. And uh, I think it has to do, I kind of bumped up my sensitivity, and I also got a pair of FPS Freaks, which is actually really cool because with how I play uh, on my computer a lot, it kind of extends the controller a bit, the thumbsticks, and makes it feel a little bit more like a mouse would um it's kind of hard to explain it's one of those things you kind of have to have like feel to really know like if you're gonna like them or not uh, a lot of people don't like them a lot of people do i'm one of the ones who do who do <laughs> totally sound horrid that guy too um so this commentary is not gonna be about the gameplay maybe a little thing here or there but basically i want to talk about something that came up with another commentator that i like to watch his name is mr atomic waffle and i've Oh, I totally failed that Nova guess. I've been watching him for a little while now, uh, and I've recently learned a couple things about him. Well, first off, he's only 17 years old, and I'm like, whoa, this, this uh, no stove. This uh, kid, man, I mean, he's not really, I don't really think I can call him a kid, because, I mean, he's he's kind of got a level head. He talks about things at a maturity level a lot higher than uh, you would expect from a 17-year-old, so I thought that was really cool. I also learned that he is from Seattle which is just about an hour away from where I live up in, uh, in Washington which I think is just like really cool because he's a commentator who is pretty cool and he lives really close to me and a lot of these other ones they I mean I guess they could possibly live close to me I feel like I've heard um, Ernie talk about this or that in Portland but anyway it's not important basically what it comes down to is he did a video about being overweight and had a kind of little bit of uh, tips on how to, how did that guy not die? On how to, you know, avoid, you know, being overweight and how to deal with that. And he disabled comments on it, which I think is is a pretty good move because I mean, people can be immature about it. I mean, people are mean. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. But basically, I feel really strongly about this subject, and this is kind of a, a video response my own little comment if you will uh, to him and if he wants to show this to anyone else if any of his subscribers or anything uh, that'd be really appreciated uh, basically I have struggled with my weight uh, it fluctuates up and down so easily and so quickly that I just I've always had problems with it not till recently have I really found something that works for me and I'd like to kind of share that with you guys basically it comes down to working out and eating right now I want to start off by saying diets don't work they're short-term things that I don't know they they may or may not work for you but for the most part when it comes to dieting it either has to be like a diet plan that lasts the rest of your life or it's something that you've created for yourself because there's so many books out there, diet books and diet plans, that's the 14 day diet, the 15 day diet, the 17 day diet, and it's like, it takes years, and it takes a whole lifestyle change to have a successful diet. This means eating more vegetables, uh, staying away from the sweets, fast foods, fatty foods, um, there's so many things you need to stay away from. There's so many bad things, and it's really hard because all the bad things are really cheap, and all the good things for you can be really expensive. Now, I'm going to give you some tips on how to eat a little bit healthier, but not breaking your bank. So basically what I do is, whenever I get my vegetables, I get them fresh from this thing we have in my town. It's uh, the it's not a farmer's market, it's like a produce market. And I live in kind of a, a farmish area, I guess you could say. Uh... There's lots of tulip fields and big farms and dairy farms, all this kind of stuff up here. So there's lots of fresh fruits for, and vegetables for us to get, which might be different for some people in the city. But I know, you know, Mr. Tom Waffle, he's got Pike Place down there, and I love Pike Place. Got lots of stuff there, and they're they're not too expensive. So basically, I go there and buy all my produce. 
I get jalapenos and onions and peppers and I just get everything and I get it for pretty cheap. I mean, I get the best prices there and I get the most I can do. I mean, I make smoothies out of the fruit, I, I, I have a juicer and I juice some things out of the vegetables and make my own little things that are really cool. And it's all really inexpensive. Another thing is uh, staying away from name brands. A lot of people think that name brands are going to be healthier for you, but it is not true. One of the biggest examples is Raisin Bran. The name brand for Raisin Bran has about uh, the most ridiculous amount of sugar you could possibly imagine. It's they coat their raisins with something else. Now, an off-brand doesn't do that. The off-brand is actually better for you. It's also going to be cheaper. And a lot of things are like that. Um, something you want to look for if you look at the ingredients, which I suggest just look at the ingredients. If there's something on there, you're like, what the heck is that? Or I don't know what that is. Or that doesn't sound very good. I don't know. Most of those things you don't know what they're going to be, but check the back. If they have partially hydrogenated oils in it, um, hydrogenated is fine, but partially hydrogenated means they have trans fats in them. And trans fats are the ones that are bad for you. Uh, they clog up your arteries and cause heart disease, heart attack, all that stuff not very good and it's not healthy. Now, we'll say zero trans fats. Now, something that has been approved, I don't know why, is that if it has under 1%, I think it is, or under 0.5%, if it's under a certain percent, they do not have to put that there's trans fats in it. They can actually advertise zero trans fats if it's under a certain percent. But you're still getting it in there, and your body doesn't break it down. It just sits in your body and can cause problems. Now, this is kind of funny, but the nice story is a Hamburger Helper has trans fats in it, but the off-brand Pan Burger Helper doesn't. So that's something you can kind of look for. Uh, overall, it'll just make you feel a little bit healthier, and uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now, if you're not big onto eating vegetables and things, you know, I totally hear you. I'm not a big fan of a lot of vegetables that I, I am eating now. Uh, I actually enjoy a lot of other things more than the vegetables that I have, but it comes down to how I cook them, and I, and I love to cook. I love to cook, so that's that's a big thing of why I, I am so successful with the vegetables and stuff is uh, I make soups and uh, a lot of Mexican foods with lots of spice, so I'm not really, uh, Claymore, so I'm not really eating the vegetables and tasting them too much, but they add just a little bit of flavor. Those are just kind of things that I do. Now, I'm definitely going to make a second part to this video because, unfortunately, I can't make long videos on YouTube yet, but it will definitely be a response to give you a little bit more details on these things and how to eat a little bit healthier. So I'm going to jump right into how I, how I work out. Now, working out is very important, but working out can be as simple as walking. 30 minutes of walking a day is the recommended cardio for people. I mean, that is not that much and that's not that long. Now. That's, I mean that's just that's just a little bit. Just take a little walk. You know, I like walking. I go I go on runs and bike rides and stuff. So I mean you can do those two things too. But walking and if you have a dog, go take your dog for a walk. A nice long walk and boom. I mean there's your cardio right there. The other thing that I do is uh, stay away from uh, if you want to lift some weights to build some muscles. Stay away from the the heavy metal weights. You're basically paying a dollar per pound so if you want 30 pound weights you gotta pay thirty dollars for each dumbbell that's actually not even be more for that I suggest going with the vinyl ones vinyl is a lot cheaper uh, but it, I mean it weighs the same so no problems there but it's a lot cheaper and I have um, two dumbbells of vinyl weights that are interchangeable so I can change this stuff and when I'm watching YouTube videos because I watch a lot of them to keep up on what the other commentators are doing and while my videos are rendering things like that, I'm, I'm sitting in my room and I'm working out while I'm watching it. I'm doing like my arms, and I do a little bit of legs. Um, the next thing that I do that has been really helpful is while I'm playing Call of Duty. Uh, this is all that I really do for other video games. I think of anything, but um, in between rounds, I'll do some push-ups, and then the next, in between the next, well, I guess the next game, I do some crunches, and then the next one. I do push-ups, and then the next one I do crunches, and so I, I do that to kind of to like keep my body moving, to keep my muscles strong or whatever, and it really helps. I mean, just that little bit while playing your video games can make a big difference. If you want to, you know, work out, you got to do a little bit of more of a an intense cardio, I guess. Um, I do this thing. Uh, I could not explain it. You only have to ever see it in a video. It's like a home cardio thing you can do. But uh, it works really well. And just find whatever works for you. You can do it in your house if you're uncomfortable going out on runs or anything like that. But yeah, just the biggest thing is uh, try your best to eat healthy. 
but mostly it comes down to will control, willpower, uh, just uh, keep everything in moderation, uh, do a little bit of workouts here and there, and just be conscious of what you're actually eating, and you should be good. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be making another part soon. Um, yeah, uh, this is Double O Face signing out. Good night and good fight.